Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, we are going to cover a very important topic, which is does API testing need any kind of a coding knowledge? If you're someone who doesn't have any kind of a coding experience, can you learn API testing and implement and can you create the API frameworks or not? In this video, let's find out. All right. All right, guys. So let me make myself a little smaller uh, so that you can have some basic understanding what's going on. And we so, uh, before starting out, I just wanted to let you know, guys, if you are interested in learning API testing from scratch, even as a beginner, right, I will highly recommend you to go through these tutorials, right? The learning path will be start. So the first one is basically the 30 days of API testing with Postman. So if you are new to API testing, you haven't uh, done any kind of experience and uh, this is like a new term for you, right? This is the perfect 30 days of API testing series. You should go through it if you are a totally a beginner, right? After that, you can go through the automation series, which is 30 days of automation testing where we have gone through day by day. We have project that we have done right in the end. So I will highly recommend you if you are interested. So you can go to this uh, API testing dot code slash 30 days or go. Uh, all these links are in the description also. So don't worry about it. Right. And if you want to advance your uh, expertise in API testing, go with the 30 days of rest assured where we have created our own framework, right? So I will highly recommend you to do that. It's a free, of course, and trust me, you're going to learn a lot. And in the past, I have changed more than, I would say 3000 plus students lives. So I would highly recommend you to go through. So uh, now let's start with the learning path of an API. So suppose you are a beginner, I'm considering that you are already a beginner, right? Or even if you have a certain kind of experience, but you want to learn API testing from scratch and move towards the advanced stuff right so how will you start it basically you will start with the api testing basics right so api testing basics that we have already covered in this series which is a 30 days of api testing right and after that you can go with the postman postman uh, tool is a gui tool which basically allows you to test your apis initially right and here is the manual part basically if you are a manual tester or if you are a beginner it's the best tool for you to getting started right it doesn't require much knowledge of coding right and if we talk about the advanced postman, it requires a little bit about the coding and we're going to discuss in the uh, video right? it is if coding is required or not. Right. So you can go with the advanced postman where we'll basically integrate with our CI, CD, Jenkins, Docker. Right. And after that, you can get uh, the third stage. The third stage is basically creation, creating your API automation framework, which basically generally do is that uh, if you are working in Java, most of the time we are basically doing with rest assured. PyTest request module, right? So request module Node.js, PyTest is Python, and rest assured is in Java. So if you are interested in learning it, right? So let's uh, come, let's understand these concepts first. So API testing is more or less divided into two parts, which is manual API testing as well as the automation API testing, right? So uh, if we talk about manual API testing, knowledge, we only require knowledge about the APIs, headers, body, right? How to head, add assertion, verification, right? STPP methods like post, get, put, these kind of stuff, right? All the things are already covered in the tutorials or the playlist section. So make sure you watch out it, watch it out if you are interested, right? So my point here is that if we are, if you are doing manual testing, right? So you require the knowledge of this APIs, headers, right? Assertion, STPP methods, right? This doesn't, this doesn't require any kind of a code experience. You can use GUI tools like GUI tools. We have Postman, Swagger, Res, uh, Postwoman, right? And couple of like Pact and all. These they do, these kind of a tool, they don't require any kind of a coding language, right? So you can basically start your API testing journey with them, right? And it requires very minimum coding, I would say very basic coding. Uh, with GUI tools, I have already told you that you can learn the basic commands and perform the API testing, which is enough. If you are uh, doing any kind of API testing, right? In API testing, if you know, we have, uh, we can do lift, uh, lots of different type of a uh, testing, right? Security testing, load, stress, functional validation, right? These things, the, these G GUI tools already provide these kind of a stuff, right? So you can go with, re go with it without knowing much about the coding experience, right? But the, the disadvantages of a uh, disadvantage is that when you're performing any kind of a complex where when you're working with complex JSONs, right, complex structure, if you have a real world scenario where you have multiple nested JSONs and all, then it's very difficult to do API testing with these tools, right? So it is recommended now if you have advanced level of your API testing, you should move toward the automation API. So if you are moving toward the second stage, which is the automation API testing, then you have to learn the coding, right? So uh, I would say if you are a manual testing, if you are 
want to start with manual testing with basic knowledge of coding you can start with it basically if you are an engineer if you are working with the asia specific or something like that uh, you should have a basic understanding of coding right so that's where you can definitely start your career with api testing and i have seen people right now working only with postman only with swagger only with uh, some of the rest clients and they are doing great in their api testing career right so you can definitely start with it and do without any type of a coding right i hope that is clear now now the, my point here is that uh, even if you have already started your journey right with api testing even if it not you should aim towards the moving towards the automation api right so you know automation api you basically master the api testing as well as you basically master the gui tool first right and you will basically create your own api automation framework which is right right now in industry people are using it right so make sure you are moving towards these uh, api automation frameworks and trust me they are not uh, they are not very complex they are easy to understand and in the 30 day series i have already done it if you are interested in learning advanced stuff you can join my courses also if these are very much i'm running a very much discount on it definitely go with it if you are serious about your career growth automation apis are more flexible companies are demanding these kind of api automation frameworks so right now it's a hot i would highly recommend you that make sure you are moving towards it and this automation uh, framework that we are creating it requires a coding language so i will recommend to brush up your java skills python skills or as well as if you have node.js skills up and depending upon it you can definitely go with it right so my point here is that industries are moving towards microservices, right? And microservices are nothing but API communications, right? So API testing, learning API testing is important. Start with manual testing where you learn most about the types of API testing and you perform the API testing on CRUD operations using any kind of a GUI tools, right? After that, you can move towards rest assured. If you are working with programming language like Node.js, you can go with request module. If you are working with Python, you can go with PyTest plus uh, request module, right? Uh, API testing with automation right now, if you see, I have seen lots of uh, JDs who are adding specifically that you, we require API automation framework guy. So I would recommend you to go move towards manual to automation now. And the third thing is lots of complex scenarios that can only be done by if you have a more uh, understanding of the coding where you will basically create your own API automation framework. So that's why uh, it is important to move towards it. So to answer your question in a nutshell, I would highly recommend that does API testing needs coding knowledge? Initially, no, you can getting started. I have seen hundreds of people who have started their journey with API testing and manual testing, and they're still doing it for one, two years. And but I would highly recommend if you are comfortable with manual testing of these APIs and all uh, creating CRUD, working with Postman, move towards the rest assured API automation framework, create on weekends, uh, show it, add it to your JD, and definitely you will have a great career ahead, right? Uh, this was this was a two bit about this, and I hope you have learned something new in this video. And do let me know how that how do you feel about this video? And uh, thanks a lot for watching till now. If you are interested, I would highly recommend to go through these challenges, 30 days challenges, change your life. I'll highly recommend you. Right? Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next. This is your promote signing off.